we are uh, we have incorporated in the year of 2017 so we are a drone manufacturing company we are into drone based uh, solutions we have solutions that that covers surveillance drone based delivery applications logistic support and also indoor drone uh, so these drones can work in a very high altitude for their uh, surveillance activity and also it can work on non gps denied act environments as well so we are based out of chennai we are supplying to armed forces we are working closely with the drdo also uh, this is our heavy lift application so it can lift up to 10 kgs of payload we have a surveillance day and night payload also which can be used for day and night surveillance application as shown in that television wow. And would you like to put some light on uh, the current uh, status of the order book and what do you expect from this different six for candidate? Exactly, yes. Sir. So, we are currently producing about 15 drones in a month basically and supplying mainly to the Indian Armed Forces. Through this Defence Expo, we would like to like uh, scale up this particular opportunity and we are also looking for more uh, collaborations with OEMs so as to increase from 15 to 50. That would be the things. And how do you, like the government of India focuses on 5 billion dollar uh, for defense exports. So how does your company look forward in uh, contributing to this? Yes, uh, so we we fall under the Startup India mission actually and also we fall fall under the Make in India mission. What uh, So the government is really supportive for this activity and uh, especially in the unmanned aerial systems and drones are concerned, up to 100 crores have been earmarked for startups and for local procurement itself. So, with, with this investment, we will be able to get more and more uh, opportunities to serve our Indian Armed Forces. Also, what has been your experience in the current markets that you have been uh, pitching your product to? And what has been the experience of the customers and consumers as well? Yes. So, what happens is that uh, this government is mainly focuses more on the indigenous technologies. Currently, we have the, the systems that has completely like 70-80% of indigenous content. We are looking forward to 100 percentage when we have been uh, really supportive by the government also in their in their entire process of uh, procurement and wherever we have been showcasing our products to indian armed forces be it army or navy or air force we have been getting lots of good uh, feedback about the product products at the same time we are looking for more and more indigenous content as well that's it.